put my phone up. Um, everybody, Beryl, thanks for tonight. I think already I'm humbled by what I've seen and heard. I've taught a long time, and you'll hear in a minute about that. But um, it's just amazing, and such rich history already from young teachers, I'm hearing. I really appreciate it. But I don't know how good I am at throwing. I'm not going to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> team and our team and we worked together on an idea of passion of mine that I had as an idea having taught a very long time. We have one of those resources that we hope you'll look into, take advantage of. The, the teachers that have been uh, speaking to you, tell you, ask you all the words that you just heard. I've heard Simon said them all, I can't say any of them, I'm lost on it now. We want this to be part of your life. We want to look after you. We want you to stay in service. And how does that happen? So one of the strategies that will be, could be, is meant to teach. I will go back to it later, but I just want to introduce, that's what I'm here about tonight. It's about mentoring. It's about mentor meets mentee. How do you do it in a park school, in a, in a broom school, in a wherever you are in the world school, if you don't have those people with you? And you described it beautifully in your bird school. And the whole feel of it, when you're out there on your own, how do you get those people to continue that, that ongoing uh, being amazing? So um, we, we built this website. This is how we're presenting it to the world. And I, do I click here? Works. <laughs> how I'm going to talk to you is through my own experience. This is me. <laughs> and it's very um, difficult to put yourself up. Uh, and I commend the young teachers that have already done it tonight, the young student teachers. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. This is a five-year-old girl, Jill. She was told in year two that she would be, to a mother directly, in front of the class, that I was the class clown, and that all I would be good for was the circus. Mm -hmm. Ah, there, that's an answer. Who did that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who had the low tone? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, You weren't a PE teacher, were you? <laughs>
crazy, hey? So this is this little girl in class. Can you find her? Have a look at that picture. That is my school. Believe it or not, I went to that skeets with the double G. <laughs> that skeets. This is my a colleague who was also a teacher for most of her life. But this girl, Rosemary, they took a photo. They published about the school with a girl talking. It's crazy. And why don't we just take a photo with the back of the girls? Crazy. So, Jenny's there. There she is. She did love school and she did love this teacher. This is one of the passions of my life was geography. I didn't do it, but um, I love my teacher, this one. Because she actually, it wasn't geography I loved, it was that she taught us. She listened to our responses, she responded to our learning, and she actually looks in our eyes and tell us, told us what we needed to know because she was caring about us enough. Now, this little girl then grew up and became a teacher. And after 44 years of teaching, unimaginable. You said eight years was a lot. I, a teacher after eight years when I was in primary school teaching, she was eight years and she took a super out, she took her, um, what's that thing called, super as to pay a house off. Couldn't believe anyone had taught for eight years. I'm just finished in January a teaching career as a, um, you know, employed person. I now work my, as a consultant, but I haven't stopped, but I've done 44 years. This is my 45th year. So this little girl then became a teacher, the one that was told that she was too zealous, that it was a circus act and so on. Uh, her first class were boys, primary, uh, girls, primary girls, three hour girls. Girls were on the, on the first floor because boys spat. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second year class, and um, the second class I taught, little boys. Look at their faces. Can you tell what each one of those is going to be like in class? <laughs> So I had a long career. I had a, I, I believe it was successful. But the point I'm making about me is I, did, I wasn't looked after as a child. You, and I think one of the things, taught, that was one of the things that taught me a lot. You've got a story to tell. You feel, I, you know, I, I felt that from your uh, conversation. So um, it's, it's an interesting thing about how we can impact. Who was it? So who was it that said that you can really damage a child? Yeah. You don't know how you can damage a child. So you've got a big responsibility going out as teachers, even as preschool teachers. Your responsibility is to, to read your children, respond to their needs, but key to it, you, you want them to learn. You can't be everything to all people. You can't look after every child, but you do what you can with the time you've got with those children. You don't lose sleep over it, you do your job, but they, you are there for them to learn and keep that as a key. So. What we're talking about is mentoring. Um, now, we don't know what to call it, and tonight we're going to ask you, Mark and I, but Mark will listen to the responses. Should it be Edu Harmony? Should it be Edu RSVP? Or should it be Edu Grinder? <laughs> Mentorteach.com.au. Oh, that's coming. That's coming. 
So I did show at the beginning, but anyway, it's called mentorteach.com.au. So um, we want to actually support you, and I'll talk about you tonight, but it's anyone in the, um, in the career of teaching, to be mentored, to be looked after, so that you do get over the, the difficulties. You might be in a school, you might be in a toxic staff room. You might be in a place that isn't that easy for you to cope. I've got a daughter who's 27, and she's got a master's in education, she's a visual arts teacher, and she has done one year teaching, but I know how hard it is. And that business of, of being looked after, talking to your head teacher, and, and managing the, the process of a, of a difficult parent uh, conversation, it might be that you just can't do that with that person. Just doesn't work for you. It's be, it should work, but it might not. And in your early years, it might be. So we would like, to, and I'll focus men to teach on preschool teachers tonight, but I'm also wanting to support principals, anyone in the industry of teaching at all levels, because we all need to be mentors and we all need to be mentees. There's no time in my life that I haven't sought a mentor to look after me and I've still got them. And everyone I work with is a mentor to me. So it's, it's this process of looking after you, making sure that you um, you are given some, an opportunity to talk to somebody. It's very early days for this project of ours, very, very early. So you'd be early adopters. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, what's my time? How am I going? It's all right, we've all gone over this. I want to be on, my, on task. Well, we want you to register. So tonight's actually about that. I'm not going to go into the detail of the actual website because you can easily do that. You're all um, native, so it's fine. But register, and is there a, stu a student in the room tonight that'd like to be a blogger with us? Who, when you're going out in October to do crack some of your true, who'd like to blog their first days? Talk to each other openly in a, an arena about what's going on. And share the pain, share, oh, we'd love it. We would love it. Mm -hmm. But also you can have a forum too. We've got the main core is Edu Harmony, Edu RSVP, Edu Grinder. Either <laughs> 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 side is forums, blogs, and resources for you. And I, if I could connect with the university, I'd have your resources there too, but you have pretty good websites now for those things, so we might not need to do that. But certainly, there are mentoring, we've got um, uh, support material for you. So it's a call to action. We're very young. So we would love the uh, some population on our site, and we'd love it tonight. Mark's a guru of um, techie stuff, so if you want to talk to him about how you do it, if you want to blog and be on a forum, but you can't understand how much I would want you to do that because of the passion we have for what we're doing. So um, if you'd like to join us and come with us or tell others, Eddie's a blogger. He's got three beautiful, beautiful statements or two that feed to a beautiful statement about teaching. You've heard him tonight. I died to have had Eddie as my teacher. In the light of what I've told you tonight, I did have good teachers too. But Eddie's in there, and he—you could read his last. Your last blog is is just um, precious. So um, if just that's one thing to, to show, maybe as an idea too, and you'll follow us. So um, if there, oh, there's a Twitter hat, uh, for us to attend to. Um, if you'd like, we're members of the Defence Society. We're still quite new, but we have 300 people on Facebook that follow us. We can post a link if you guys would like that. Or, so we just need a name and contact that we can have. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk later. Hey? I won't, I, I'll try to keep to time. So, um, uh, that's, it. that's my last slide anyway. So, that's <laughs> lucky, wasn't it? If you'd like to come on, it's, it will be support, but it, the teachers you meet, I don't mind who you talk to us about. Um, who you talk to about us. We, we wanted to uh, populate and give back. The whole process is give back. It's free, it's pro bono. There's nothing, no cost involved. So and if we can help you on your next pack, we'd love to. Thank you so much for coming.